G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're just going to look at the standard way of changing fractions into percentages. Uh, this is a response to a question somebody sent through. So if you have any questions to do with maths, send them through. I'll get a video out as quick as I can. So first off, uh, what we're going to be looking at is I'll show you all the working out and the standard way we do these. So say we had, I'll start off a nice easy example. We're going to turn the following into percentages. We're going to turn three quarters into percentage then we're going to go a bit harder we'll turn say five eighths into a percentage then we'll go let's change um, say something like um, seven eighteenths into a percentage okay so we'll work on these particular examples now the easiest way of doing this is to turn these into a number out of a hundred a percentage we just times our three quarters here by a hundred okay by a hundred we place that over one Okay, so what we can do now is we can look for numbers that go into both the top and the bottom, okay? We can simplify down these fractions. And you might see, okay, there's a number that goes into both 4 and 100 here, which is 4, okay? It goes into this one once, and it goes into this one 25 times. There's no number that goes into both uh, 1, uh, 3, and 25 here, so what we can do is now we just multiply these straight across. We have it's 3 times 25, which is 75, and 1 times 1, which is 1. Okay, and now we are left with 75 divided by 1, which this is our answer, which is 75%. Okay. All right, what about this next question? We have 5 eighths, okay? So what we do is we times this by, once again, 100 over 1. All right, so the next step, we look for a number that goes into both the top and the bottom here. Okay, uh, we have five, uh, number four that goes into both 100 and 8 here. Okay, it goes into 8 twice, and it goes into 100 25 times. Okay, and we've simplified that down. There's no number that goes into 2 and either any of these numbers at the top here. So now we just multiply across. 5 times 25 is 125, and this is over... 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so this is 125 divided by 2. Okay, so I'm just going to do these by going um, one, 1 divided by 2 we can't do, so we're left with 12 divided by 2, this is 6, and 5 divided by 2 is 2, and there's 1 left over, and we put this 1 over the 2 here, so we've got 62 and a half percent. Okay, nice and easy, yeah? All right, let's have a look at our last example here. So 7 over 18, we are going to place this over 100. <laughs> so we're going to multiply this by 100 over 1. Okay, so what do we do now? We look for a number that goes into both the top and the bottom here. If we can simplify this any further, you're going to see that we can uh, that 2 goes into both of these. The 2 goes into this one 50 times. Into 150 times, it goes into this one nine times okay uh, there's no immediate apparent number that goes into both of these there is no number that goes into the top and the bottom here so now we just multiply these across all right seven times 50 is 350 and we're going to place this over nine times one which is nine okay so now we've got 350 divided by nine uh, nine into three we can't do 9 into 35, this goes 3 times, and there's 8 left over, and then 9 into 80 goes uh, 9 8 to 72, so this goes 8, and there's 8 left over, so this is 8 over 9, and this is percentage. Okay? Yeah, hopefully that was of some help to you. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that's what you're, you're after with this particular question. I was trying to be quite uh, specific and quite thorough in how I was doing the explanation here. By the way, if you don't actually, if you're not able to simplify these, you're getting a little bit stuck on this particular step here where you're not able to actually simplify these as easy, it's, it's okay. You'll, you can actually uh, work on that in this step over here. So if you just went 5 times 100, you'd end up with 500 over 8 times 1, which is 8. You end up with the same answer here. It just makes this calculation here a bit simpler if you simplify it over here. Anyway, hope that was of some help. We'll see you next time.